Hey, what's going on YouTube? So here we have uh, a notorious page on the internet, 4chan, for better or worse, love it or hate it. This is one of the most popular sites on the internet, and um, if you have an Android device, you know that sometimes going to 4chan on your mobile web browser is not the most pleasant experience. So the app I'm going to talk about today is called Chandroid, and it actually makes using 4chan and browsing 4chan a much more pleasant experience. So let's jump into the app and take a look. You can see on my home screen I have uh, Chandroid as well as another icon for another app here called Meme Maker. And this app actually integrates with Chandroid, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's jump right into Chandroid. So here we have uh, Chandroids loaded up, and it'll load like this if you've installed one of the add-ons. Let me go into menu. You can see we got add-ons manager here. I'm going to select that. Um, so the add-on which lets Chandroid start up like that is called Chan Selector. What this lets you do is it lets you pick from a list of different Chan sites. If you don't have that installed, it'll just start up with a blank space so you can put in a URL. So it's pretty convenient. Uh, Image Viewer lets you view animated GIFs within the forums. And then of course Meme Maker, which is the app you saw on my home screen. And I'll talk about that in a bit. So I'm gonna hit the back button here and hit menu. So you can see we have choose another Chan. If I select that, we go to all chans and now it asks me to pick a chan so for purposes of this video I'm just gonna stick with the original 4chan so to see all the message boards within 4chan I'm just gonna go to show all and I'm gonna go with food and cooking that's a fairly safe bet so loading up here you can see I'm on 3G with half bars and uh, <clears throat> loads up pretty quickly you can see it's already starting to download the images and uh, definitely a nice clean interface compared to the mobile website which if you've tried using it from a mobile browser is not very pleasant um, but you can see here, it's a nice interface. The images load up fairly quickly. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm just on 3G with half signal, and it's loading these up pretty good. So I'm just going to go into this board here. And you can see it's loading some more of the message content. And um, some of the things you can do with Chandroid, which is really cool, is if I go to menu, I can actually reply to this thread from within the app. Put my name, email, subject. I can even edit image if I want to. And it'll submit it right to the message board for me from the app. So, again, much more streamlined and pleasant experience than using the website itself through a mobile browser. So let's just cancel out of here. Uh, another cool thing you can do is if I hit menu, you can watch the thread. So if I select watch thread, you see we get a little Chandroid guy pop up in our notification tray. If I pull that down, I'm now actively watching this thread. So if I want to come back to it later, I can just go through my notification tray and click on that without having to kind of dig around again for it. Another nice thing is you can archive the thread so you can come back to it later, do some offline browsing with it. That's another option for you there. So let's go back to the home screen. And you can see it says clearing cache. I have it set to do that. And I'll show you how to do that in just a bit. I want to go into Meme Maker, and again, this will only work if you have Chandroid. It, it is an add-on for Chandroid. 
So let's open it up here. And again, you see it initializing Chandroid. What we can do with this is you could select some preloaded images. I'm going to go with uh, Apple Peacock. So you see it's got a spot for top and bottom text. If I hit random text, fills in some text for me. I hit make meme. Boom. Makes the meme. You can save it to your phone's SD card or you can share it via whatever sharing methods you have installed on your phone. So again, pretty cool. Convenient go back out of here and up here you see you can do also demotivator on this one if you select on the image it'll ask you to upload something from your gallery uh, pictures on your SD card or your phone memories and then you can give it a title and make your own demotivator so that's pretty cool and again you can use these once they're saved to your SD card you can post to the 4chan boards with Chandroid these awesome pictures that you've just made. So, pretty cool. I like using Meme Maker. A lot of fun, good for a laugh. Uh, so, let's go back into Chandroid. And, like I said, I had it set to, uh, to clear the cache when I exited. The way you do that is you go into Menu, you go to Options. Scroll down. Oh, it's right here. Clear cache on quit. Have that checked off. So, you know, once you're done with it, you exit out, it'll clear the cache, free up some space on your memory. So I like having that turned on. It's just, again, keeps the phone running fast and smooth. Um, so, again, this is Chandroid available in the marketplace. And if you're a avid 4chan reader, peruser, I highly recommend checking it out. If uh, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more Android videos in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up top. And um, make sure to check out Chandroid in the marketplace. Thanks.